Since his election, Pope Francis has shown the world he wants to build a strong relationship between the church and the people. It's something that so far he's achieved with his homilies and his public speeches. And so a conference in Rome unveiled three books that gather a collection of all the Pope's speeches. Several recurring themes emerge from Bergoglio's magisterium, although one word can sum up his style. Se puede resumir en una palabra. It can be summed up with the word pontifex, pope. In Latin, that means he who builds bridges. In these first months, the pope has most of all built a bridge between himself and the people, between God's mercy and the freedom of man, between the distance caused by relativism and the identity of someone who really follows Jesus Christ. Even though Pope Francis has been viewed as some as a revolutionary figure, Cardinal Amigo Vallejo believes he's completely in line with his predecessors. La Iglesia... The Church is always the same in its nature. What happens is that the light it sheds has a different reflection on the various parts of the world. We had the beautiful pontificate of Benedict XVI, a man whose gestures were simple and secluded, but full of light. Now. We have a Pope who wants to be faithful to Jesus Christ above all. He is humble, poor, but steadily in charge of the Church. Pope Francis has shown a unique attitude in his private meetings as well. When he meets world leaders or diplomats, the Pope often jokes with them and puts them at ease. Those who've met him describe the experience as truly unique. When I had the chance to meet him in person, when he gave an audience to the diplomatic corps, I had bowed in front of him and I said a few words. We talked for a while and the words he said to me and my entourage were extremely moving indeed. The Pope's speeches and homilies are currently being edited and translated into different languages to make them available to a wider audience. However, this is the first time they're being launched in Spanish, the original language of the Pope.